So before we start uh, plotting the roots, let me go through this root.csv file one, one more time and we'll see how we can uh, parse this file using our CSV library that, that I said in the last video. You know that this root.csv file has value the coordinates in separated web commas. Uh, mean that first value uh, is the latitude value and the second value separated web comma is the longitude value. Uh, the first step is to parse this data, how to, how to extract this information from this file in Python. So let's see this. So I'll create a new, uh, uh, new Python uh, file named gps.py and I'll import this CSV library. You can read more about CSV library from Google. Uh, there is a nice documentation here. Uh, you can read uh, all the functions and parameters that are provided by the library. Uh, please have a look at it. And uh, I, I'll be using very simple uh, uh, parsing method to parse the CSV file. So let's see this. So I'll import the library first. Uh, import CSV. Okay. Now, uh, my CSV file name which I want to parse, the name of the file is uh, root.csv. So, I'll open that file with, with open root in commas root.csv in read mode. I don't have to write anything as f let's say you can put any name here any variable name here okay after opening it I will use the reader function so I will create a variable name reader and I will use the csv reader function to pass this f now what 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 it does uh, it will create an iterator through this file Okay, so that I can iterate over it and uh, I can read the values one by one as a list. So, so now my reader variable has all the uh, uh, all the data of the CSV file as an iterator. So I can iterate over it. So what I will do, I will iterate over it using a loop for let's say row in reader. Okay, now row will give me uh, row will contain list so each item of this list will be a value separated by comma so first will be the first value and the second will be the second value after the comma third will be the third value after the comma like this in string so let me print this so what I will do I will store the first value in bat bat is equal to uh, row of not zero Okay, because zeroth element of this list contains the first value and long is equal to row because the first element contains the second value that is the longitude. I just print it. Print lat print long. I'll just create a dummy print so that I get a new line character here. That's it. Let me run this. Cool. So you can see all the latitude longitude values have been extracted and printed. Okay. So suppose what I do, I try to uh, sum up. Uh, let let me print the sum of the la latitude longitude just for fun. So what I will do here in the last print statement, I will print that plus no. Okay. It should print me the uh, uh, sum of these values. So let me run this. Cool. So you can see it's giving me the sum of latitude value. Okay. So here is the problem. It's not exactly a sum. What you're getting is a concatenation of two strings. So as I said, this these are not the float values. These are actually string values. So what are you getting is a concatenation of these string values because the plus what in Python if you do a plus in two strings it will concatenate the strings. 
we were getting a concatenated value. So in order to get the sum of this latitude and longitude, we have to change it. We have to typecast that we, we say typecasting in C. So it means you you just have to change the string value into float value. So for that we just you just need a function float and inside this with this float. So what it will do, it will just change this string value into float. Now let's run this. So now if I run this, now you can see I am getting this sum. 106.3407 So now I know how to parse it, a simple parsing I have of the CSV file. This is all required for this uh, program. And next video you will see how, how to plot this uh, latitude and longitude value.